So I wanted to make a video on how to find your Udemy username because I was having issues connecting my uh, complete web um, development course 2.0 with the Eco Web Hosting website um, for the one year web hosting for free. Okay, so you're going to first go to sign into your Udemy and then you're going to click on your face up here or this icon up here. I'm not going to click on it right now because it's going to show my email. So just pretend I clicked on it and then it brings you to this page here. Um, this is all your profile settings and um, privacy account. Okay, so what you're going to do first off is make sure you go to privacy and you uh, have your uh, profile to um, set on public instead of private. Um, if you have it on private, um, the Eco web hosting site will not be able to connect with their Udemy site. So make sure it's on private, uh, public, and then you can just switch it back to private after you uh, connect the two sites. Now you're going to go to um, view your public profile, and here you're going to go up here, and everything after the user backslash, you're going to want to copy. And then paste it into the Eco Web Hosting site. Um, make sure you have uh, you sign up for an account, and um, then you're gonna go all the way down until you see your Udemy details, and you're gonna paste that in there. At first, I thought I just had to do this space, you know, like that. But if you look back on here, there's um, these dashes in between the my name and the number 8. So that actually is very important for connecting your account. So make sure you put that in there. And then you just type in your name. And then you're going to update it. I'm not going to click update it now, but just update it. And then it's going to say that, okay, you've connected your account up here. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to go to the complete web development course 2.0 and you're going to click it's going to give you an option right here to verify your purchase kind of like it is right here and then you're going to verify your purchase and then you're going to be all done with that so um yep that's how you do it i was having issues doing that and i think the professor didn't explain it as well as he could have in one of his videos so i hope that helped thank you for watching